Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the Star Wars headquarters. I hope you guys are all doing good. And in this video, we have a lot of stuff to go over because over the weekend, community manager Ben Walk did a Q&A with Reddit on Discord and revealed some stuff that will be coming up in October and then also gave some teases on Geonosis and uh, talked about community transmissions, upcoming live streams, and so much more for Star Wars Battlefront 2. So this is going to be a big video, guys. We're going to dive into all of the details in this video. Now, before I go on, I do want to thank Torbis on Reddit for compiling the list of everything Ben Walk said on Discord during the Q&A. And I'll leave a link down below to the Star Wars Battlefront Reddit so you guys can check it out. But again, special thanks to Torbis for doing that. And by the way, uh, also, I wanted to mention that we do daily live streams at 4 p.m. PT time at facebook.com slash Star Wars HQ. So guys, don't forget to join in on our daily live streams. We have fun over there uh, during our live streams. And we do play with our subscribers as well. So if you're on the PS4, feel free to jump into the game because we love playing with you guys. Also, we do... Uh, some PC streams and Xbox One streams as well. We just hang out, have fun, talk about Star Wars Battlefront 2, talk about Star Wars and everything else in between. So guys, feel free to jump in on our live streams and hit that like button if you enjoy our streams. Now let's jump back over to what Ben Walk had to say. Torbis posted this on Twitter and said, Ben has confirmed that in October there will be a weekend with no hero limits and then uh, he quoted what ben said and ben said obviously uh lower the cost of battle points but stuff like remove hero limits so ben was talking about uh what they want to do for upcoming events in october and how cool would it be to have an event where in galactic assault there were no hero limits anymore uh so instead of having you know a max of four heroes it would just be a free-for-all and, uh, you know, anyone could be a hero as long as they have the battle points to get the hero. Now, imagine if they combine this with lower battle points as well. So maybe they could do it where there's no hero limit. So they could have eight versus eight heroes, for instance, or something. And then on top of that, the heroes would cost less. Imagine how crazy that would be. But uh, regardless, I'm really looking forward to these types of events in October. I'm really excited about October. Not only are we getting Grievous, but it looks like DICE is really pushing the boundaries with what they're doing with community events. So uh, leave a comment down below. What ideas do you guys have for community events you would like to see? Would you like to see, you know, the vehicle event return where vehicles were lowered in battle points? Let me know in the comments down below because DICE is always listening to your ideas. Now, uh, my friend Battlefront FR, Emil, he posted this on Twitter. He said, now we just need four Grievous versus four Grievous when he comes out. And then Torbus responded and said, stop scaring me for real. That would be hilarious. Yeah, so I think these type of events would be a lot of fun. And uh, it would just be those party type of events that wouldn't be taken too seriously uh, and let everyone experience the power of Grievous as well. Imagine doing four versus four Grievous uh, on the battlefront. And some other people thought it would be pretty interesting to see 20 versus 20 uh, Galactic Assault with heroes only, where all 20 players on the teams were heroes. Now, that would result in duplicate heroes as well. So you'd probably see a bunch of Yodas running around or a bunch of uh, General Grievouses running around on the battlefront, but I think it'd be pretty fun. And again, only as a weekend event. Uh, but guys, let me know what you think again about these ideas. Do you want to see these fun type of weekend events for Star Wars Battlefront 2? Again, it would let people really experience all the heroes. It would be just fun, chaotic uh, battles, you know, going on. But uh, let's go on to the next comment, guys, here. So, you know, we went over all that stuff and... Uh, also, Ben Walk said this on Twitter. He said, things can always improve. Now, he's talking about communication here. He said, we're going to do more transmissions, at least four in October, and I still want to branch out into streams and more. Even if you said we were 100% perfection, I'd still be pushing for 105%. There's always room to improve. So they're going to up the community transmissions in October to four 
community transmissions guys it's going to be very cool to see what these transmissions are maybe we'll even see a tease about obi-wan in these transmissions as well so we'll see what happens but i'm sure one of these transmissions or maybe a couple of these will have a reveal of general grievous of course either like a screenshot or maybe a trailer we'll have to see what happens now uh there was another comment on twitter as well uh razor the savage said hey at ben walk is it possible that for the week of april fool's day we get a jar jar binks skin for all of the characters the thing is we can only get them on the week of april fools each year but if we get it we could keep it now ben responded and said i like the idea behind it but not sure we create an appearance and then time gate it perhaps rather have an appearance that is around longer interesting thought though yeah i think that's a really good idea especially with you know introducing jar jar binks during a time like april fools because uh it'd be just a funny moment in star wars battlefront 2 multiplayer to see jar jar binks you know arrive in the game but uh yeah if you're like me i want to see jar jar binks arrive in the game of course there's a lot of other heroes that are on the list at dice uh including the ones that they're currently working on but regardless i really want to see jar jar binks in the game somehow with a funny mode where people can just go in there you know have a fun party-like experience with their friends and just dominate with jar jar binks i think it'd be so funny but uh let's talk about this here so next up uh ben revealed on discord that next week they will be doing a hot fix if i'm not mistaken i believe he said it would be around tuesday or wednesday of next week uh, sometime in the, uh, mid next week for the hot fix i'm hoping that includes a fix for the xbox one because if you guys don't know on the xbox one a lot of players are experiencing connectivity issues we talked about that earlier in our video so uh hopefully that hot fix corrects everything with what's going on with the xbox one and then maybe it'll fix some issues with the squad spawn uh, system as well like the menu problems that people are experiencing now let's go on to the next topic here roadmap version three so uh we asked out there do you think we will get roadmaps roadmap version three perhaps early next week like on monday and then ben said we will find out more on monday but i will be pushing for its release so as you guys know roadmap version three was supposed to come out last friday but unfortunately it was delayed now ben is going to do his best to push for uh, an early release next week of the roadmap and we're hoping for monday so pay attention to star wars hq right here uh, because if it releases tomorrow on monday you betcha we will be posting all about it so we'll see what happens now also uh in regard to that ben said thing is we want to communicate more and be more transparent but the harsh realities of game development is that things change dates move all the time sometimes they move forward sometimes back and sometimes they end up where they started so if you were like me and you were frustrated with the roadmap being delayed ben is kind of explaining what happened there and uh you know it's true in game development things get delayed but hopefully in the future they improve this more and more because you know with communication uh you know improvement is always there and i hope to see that more and more but guys we're going to jump back to the comments uh made by ben on discord i'm going to go over this whole list for you guys here or at least partial the partial list of this stuff posted by torbus on reddit so let's jump into it and see what ben walk had to say so uh looks like we are getting a community calendar out every month guys that's going to detail events throughout that month so that's going to be something new for star wars battlefront 2 and another additional layer on top of the community transmission which is really cool now uh torbus also told us that ben said live streams are making progress and that he's about to secure office space and uh get all of the equipment necessary for those live streams they also have made a new systems that allows them to do cool bits which i'm guessing is like video bits as stated by ben now uh with that said they are also making some changes to how health stacking occurs this will occur in the upcoming hotfix apparently so if you've noticed there's been a lot of health stacking going on with officers and abilities like that 
and it results in someone pretty much being invulnerable when you face off against them. So that's cool to see that they're going to include that in the hotfix. Now, uh, also it says uh, ATRT is having its battle point reduced as well, which is good news. And then also they said that Ben Walk stated that there's a part in Geonosis that when you see it for the first time, you will think, holy crap. So uh, that wasn't the exact words Ben said, uh, but let's just say Ben sounded very excited about what we can expect with Geonosis. So I'm very excited to see what part he's talking about exactly. I'm not sure exactly what he's talking about there, but it's going to be interesting to see what he means by this. Uh, now, they also confirmed that we'll be seeing more of Grievous before his release, of course, uh, including some screen screenshots and other bits as well, probably some audio clips. Now, uh, they didn't really mention a trailer, but we'll see about that. Now, also, uh, Ben revealed that he's hoping to invite people to DICE in November, guys, and I really hope that we get invited as well because, uh, you know, we really want to see what they're working on uh, with Geonosis, Obi-Wan, all of that. So how exciting would it be if we got the opportunity to go to DICE and then maybe, you know, capture some gameplay or something like that for uh, Geonosis. We'll see what happens, but fingers crossed, I really hope that we get invited out. Now, they're also making some changes to the squad UI, UI uh, and then also, let's see what else he said on uh, Discord he said November update will be called Battle of Geonosis. That's going to be the official name of it. And then the October update is called the General Grievous update. Um, and then he, he did reveal that many of the General Grievous voice lines actually came from the community. So thanks to you guys, uh, they were able to include some really cool voice lines of General Grievous in there. Now, let's see what he says here now. Benwalk also said... They would love to be done with the live streaming studio by October, and he believes that the Battle of Geonosis will be the first live stream from DICE. So that's what it seems to be for the live streams. And again, I hope we get invited over to DICE in November. That'd be so cool. Now, uh, moving on, uh, let's see what else Torbus has compiled here in the list. It says Ben commented, they might just get released afterwards as standalone instead to a comment about the roadmap, I guess. There'll be any content added to the upcoming roadmap. Not sure exactly what that means there. I apologize. Not sure exactly what that means, but uh, there are some other statements on there regarding everything else that's coming up in October and November. And again, special thanks to Torbus for compiling that list. Some really interesting stuff. And I'll leave a link to the Battlefront uh, Reddit, but uh, I'm not going to go over all of it here because some of it is stuff that you guys can check out on your own But I hope you enjoyed the video guys. We went over a lot of stuff I don't mean to ramble at the end here, but we went over a lot of stuff and uh, there's some exciting stuff coming up Starting in October with those cool community events we talked about earlier uh, But guys, let me know what are you most excited for? What do you want to see for community events and? Uh, feel free to post in the comments and don't forget guys. We will be live streaming on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Star Wars HQ. Guys, I'll see you next time, and may the Force be with you always.